So guys, I keep hearing about this Hercules Ultra Torque impact from people on TikTok and in the comment section when I talk about Milwaukee. So went down to my Harbor Freight, picked it up, two five amp hour batteries and a charger because you can't buy it as a kit. You've got to piecemeal this thing together. And uh, honestly, it's not cheap. I mean, I thought Harbor Freight was supposed to be cheap tools, good cheap tools or whatever they advertise. But uh, yeah, I spent $383.36 on this setup where right now on homedepot.com's website, you can get the high torque with two five amp hour batteries, a case and a charger for like 440. So it's not that much of a price difference between the Milwaukee that is tried, true and tested and this new ultra torque Hercules from Harbor Freight. Now, both guns are made in China, so uh, might as well go ahead and put it through its paces and see how it operates with its supposed 1,400 foot-pounds of breakaway torque. Gun has a five-year warranty. So does the Milwaukee. Unfortunately, with the Milwaukee, we've got to send it off and get them to repair or replace it and send it back to you. This thing, you can just apparently walk into Harbor Freight, hand it to them, and they hand you another one over the counter if they've got one in stock. Four mode selector, just like Milwaukee, with the auto shut off mode and the bolt removal mode. We'll be testing that as well. Brushless 20 volt, obviously it's an 18 volt because 20 volt's a marketing gimmick. We know that from DeWalt. Uh, so I guess we'll open up these batteries and uh, hook up the charger and charge these batteries up and then uh, test this thing. Now we're not just gonna test the torque on it. We're gonna test how uh, durable it is to say the least. So being from Harbor Freight, we gotta give it the old smell test and we gotta be cautious in doing this. Box doesn't smell horrible. Which is surprising given that every time I go on a Harbor Freight, I have a massive headache from the off-gassing stink of cheap Chinese plastic. There we go, there's the smell, the battery. Horrible. We got two bars showing. Uh, we'll leave that one in the package for now. Apparently, according to the videos coming out of SEMA right now, Harbor Freight has a rapid charger coming out. Whereas this one is just a quote-unquote fast charger, but from what I've seen online from everybody else, it is anything but fast. Especially on anything 5 amp hour or above. So. Let's go ahead and get this thing charging and uh, get it ready to test. Ah, FYI, the charger smells like a barrel of rotten fish. Hopefully it uh, doesn't emit further stink upon charging this battery. Can kind of feel the brain cells withering up already. Nothing like off-gassing plastics, so. Looks like we're away to the races. So overall size comparison, which isn't exactly fair because the Milwaukee has a protective boot on it and adds a little bit of thickness to it. Uh, the Hercules is quite a bit longer from the end of the anvil to the back of the motor housing. Uh, the Milwaukee is slightly uh, chunkier in girth. Let's see, looking at the handle, rubber overmolding, all that stuff. Pretty typical of what you see from Milwaukee, Makita, DeWalt, all of those. One LED under the nose cone, 
Ford in reverse here, very similar to the Milwaukee. They're basically everybody at this point. A uh, place for a belt clip. I don't know who's belt clipping, belt clipping a half inch drive impact, especially one of this heft. It's gonna pull your pants right down. We got power mode one, two, three, and four with the auto bolt stop, auto shut down over torque. There is not a single fast thing about this charger. It took forever to charge this 5.0 battery. But we're finally charged up. Gun's back together. Seems I put it back together, right? So uh, let's do some testing and see how powerful it is. And then uh, let's beat the hell out of it and see how durable it is. So we might as well start with something absolutely ridiculous. And that is a two inch, three quarter inch socket on an adapter on this gun. And uh, let's see if we can knock loose this nut here on the front of my International Harvester tractor. Well, surprisingly enough, it uh, took that loose. Looks like it's got an uh, ample amount of power. See if we can find anything uh, else for it to do. Actually, let's test the uh, auto stop function on this. Not bad. Well, let's try out this other side. If I recall correctly, back when I tested the three quarter inch Milwaukee high torque, that gun could take that off, but could not remove this side. So let's see if the Harbor Freight gun with its uh, super poweredness can uh, accomplish that task. Looks like the answer is no, but like I said, the Milwaukee didn't take this off either. Guess no. Maybe. Mm. Well, it did just turn. Not a lot, but I did see it turn. I'm not sure if you can see the socket. I think you can, so you might be able to see that it's turning it, but it stopped. Almost. Safety squints engaged. Really, really warm. How's the 5 -0 holding up? We've already gone down to three bars from that fully charged battery, so it is chewing through this 5 -0 battery. but it is taking this fastener a loose. And it has succeeded in taking off this likely extremely hot two inch nut from the front of my tractor. Now the impacting uh, nose cone here is quite warm to the touch. Socket is quite hot. No temperature gun on hand. And uh, we are down to three bars, so it did chew quickly through that five amp hour battery. I'm sure if an 8.0 or a 12.0, it would have a little bit more chooch behind it. That is extremely hot. I knew it was hot. Why did I touch it?
So guys, I can't seem to remember where I put the impact. I need to move the tractor. Maybe if I move the tractor, I'll find the impact. So I think at this point we've proven that it's pretty damn strong for a half inch impact, but uh, you know, let's test some more durability of this joker. Let's get in the excavator. Okay, so we can't seem to kill it. We've run it over with the tractor a couple of times. Uh, we smashed it with the excavator. We did end up denting the uh, nose cone there just a little bit. But uh, let's see if it'll take the uh, lug nuts off of the back of my Mac Tools truck. These haven't been off in, uh, I think, three years now. And uh, they're good and well crusty and rusty for those of you wondering. And took it right off of there. Let's test that uh, bolt stop feature now that we've uh, smushed it. Nice. So still holding down the trigger, as you see, uh, it hammers two, three times, and then it stops until you release the trigger and uh, go again. Okay, one, two, three, still holding the trigger. Pretty impressive. And uh, you guys know that's not something that comes out of my mouth a lot, saying something from Harbor Freight is impressive, but uh, she ain't too bad. Now, would I run my Milwaukee over with the tractor and the excavator? Absolutely not. Pretty neat. All right, I've devised one final toughness test and uh, we're gonna drag this down the driveway, hooked to the back bumper of my girlfriend's Ram Charger. 
But first, we gotta get it to the Ram Charger. So we can say it's durable. All right, so I think we're pretty well tested out on this impact. Honestly, it makes me a little nauseous to say this, but this is actually pretty daggum impressive, especially coming from Harbor Freight. And I do say that in a derogatory manner because you guys know my feelings about Harbor Freight and their products. I mean, this thing has taken a beating. We ran it over with a 12,000 pound tractor. We smashed it with a 10,000 pound excavator. We drug it down a gravel road and it just won't quit. It still runs. It still got the power. It took a nut off that my high torque three quarter inch Milwaukee wouldn't. Now, again on that, I'm sure that gun would have taken it off had I just held the trigger down and let it eat for as long as I let this gun eat for. Put enough heat into a vault, you will warm it up and slightly enlarge it with thermal expansion and uh, help to loosen it up. But this thing is good and well worrying. It looks like a lot of you guys tools after about three months on the job site. So uh, I think we did some accelerated uh, wear and tear here. It uh, really took a licking, especially the battery on that uh, getting drugged down the driveway portion of the testing. But uh, yeah, took off those one inch lug nuts on the Mac Tools truck very easily. The auto stop and auto shutdown function works well, especially after we had already smashed it a couple times. And uh, really the only damage other than cosmetics, which of course scratches and scrapes, we did dent ever so slightly right there the nose cone, but it did not affect the overall function of this impact whatsoever. It still performed perfectly fine on taking off the lug nuts on the Mac Tools truck. Now, this gun is going to get put into rotation for a while, and I'm going to use and abuse it even more, and uh, in the future, come back to you guys and tell you how it's held up. Now, again, final thoughts on this. Impressive gun, impressive power, tough as nails as we've seen. My big hang up is the price point on this gun. As we saw earlier, the gun, 250 batteries, and this charger that is basically a paperweight, it is a horrible charger. It takes forever to charge just a 5.0 battery. I saw at SEMA that they're coming out with the new rapid charger. I hope it's more rapid than the fast charger because it's uh, slow as a snail. But uh, 385 for all of that. When the Milwaukee High Torque, two batteries, and the charger that charges much faster than this combo, you know, is only about $60 more, same warranty and all, same power. I mean, we didn't scientifically test the power output, but it seemed comparable. I do like the no hassle walk into Harbor Freight and exchange it when it croaks out within the five years, rather than Milwaukee having to ship it off, let them evaluate it, ship it back. I mean, that's normally at least two weeks. So that is convenient in itself walking into the store, but uh, long-term, will it hold up? Honestly, again, price point, if this was a little bit cheaper, and I only mean a little bit, I would thumbs up Gold Star, Five Star review it, but it's still a little spendy for a uh, Chinese impact from Harbor Freight. You know what, actually, there's one other thing I'd like to test. Uh, this thing has nothing anywhere on the box or packaging that says anything about IP, anything water, weather, proof, resistant, what have you. But uh, why not? Let's see how it handles a, a little bit of water.
Plus, we needed to clean it off anyway. It was pretty dirty. So uh, look at there, still dripping. Uh, foot and leg are wet. No IP, anything water resistant rated, but uh, that looks pretty water resistant to me. I didn't go easy on it. I drowned this thing. So guys, there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you all in the next one.